I'm Philip delves Broughton. I'm the author of The Art of the Sale, Learning from the Masters about the Business of Life. We sell all the time in every, everything we do. We sell to our children, to our boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, in order to get jobs. It really is a way to turn all of our interests and passions into livelihoods and to really get what we want. So those three elements were what interested me about sales. I was inspired to write the book because I was a journalist before going to Harvard Business School to get my MBA. And I was struck that one of the things they don't teach you there is sales. Uh, you learn about accounting, marketing, strategy, all these other things, but you don't learn about sales. And sales is really how any business starts and grows. Everything else is detail. So great salespeople need to have three things, I write. They need to be fundamentally optimistic because they have to start each day knowing that more people are going to say no to them than yes. They need to be extraordinarily tenacious because they have to endure these no's and objections over long periods of time often. And they need to be resilient. They need to cope with it. They need to be able to go home and not be plunged into despair. They need to keep at it. They need to not let the disappointments of their professional life carry into their personal lives. It's very, uh, there's no hiding in sales. It's not a job where you can go and shuffle papers all day and go home. It's a, it's a day that's full of human contact. Uh, you're testing your ideas, your products, your services. You're trying to find out if people want them. You have to be very creative in terms of how you sell what you have and turn it into something that other people actually want. So I think when people think of great salespeople, certain characters come to mind. Uh, if you happen to like the Donald Trump model, there's Donald Trump. Steve Jobs is always held up as a great salesman. Uh, but again, he was very unique. Not everyone could get up in a black turtleneck and jeans and do what he did. Uh, but I think you have to, we have to really broaden the realm of who we think of as great salespeople. A presidential election like the one we're going through is essentially a massive sales contest. An election I've heard described as a one day everything must go sale, is in which all the voters come and pick a candidate. Each candidate has to pitch themselves and we want that, we demand that of them. I think uh, Nelson Mandela I talk about as a great salesman, a man who essentially achieved an impossible task by persuading the white South African government that he could be their bridge out of apartheid into a multiracial South Africa. So this book is called The Art of the Sale, Learning from the Masters about the Business of Life. And so what is the business of life? The business of life is really getting to be able to do what matters to you most, whatever that happens to be. If you're an artist, you want to sell your paintings so you can carry on being an artist. Uh, if you're a bond trader, you want to carry on selling bonds so you can make money. If money is important to you, selling is important in that sense. If you're a politician, it's about selling your ideas so that you get to do the kind of good you want to for your country if you're well motivated. And that's what the business of life is, and that's the role of selling in it. It's the mechanism by which we turn whatever it is that's most important to us into a livelihood and a life.